Hello, welcome back. So just um, I want to have a little chat about um, how we uh, mounted this air handler on an internal wall. Now, most of the time, you're probably going to mount your air handler on an external wall, which makes it really easy because all you can do is make a hole in the wall and then it basically connects the, the line set from the compressor to the air handler on the outside. Easy. That's it. But in this case, we wanted to put it on an internal wall, found our studs, okay? And then I used an oscillating tool with a special drywall attachment and um, they're safe to use, really easy, just Google them. Um, and what we did is I just cut out a rectangle with my stud finder, I found, mark, mark my studs. I cut out a rectangle where I wanted to put my, uh, my unit. Um, and what, I, what that did is it gave, gave me access to the area in between the walls, as you can see. Now we obviously did our survey before and we've kind of worked out where we're going to put our line sets and one thing or another. But as you saw in an earlier video, we, uh, we actually ran this one through the crawl space underneath the house. So this was really easy because you can just pop it up in an internal wall. And then what we'll do is we will um, basically put it back in. We'll just tidy up around the edges and you won't ever know it was there. Okay. One thing I will say is that if you can see here, this is the condensate pipe. And the condensate pipe, you'll have to find a way to either tap it into an existing sink, outside, or somewhere. If you are going to put it somewhere else, you can also put a little pump in the condensate pipe uh, to pump out the uh, condensation. Um, but that's something you can talk to us about, and we can advise you on that. It's, a, it's Like I said, it's very, very simple. This took us probably a couple of hours, I guess. Um, and there you go. We've got a, an air handler on an internal wall um, that you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know any of the components are there.